Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X, for something a little bit different. I normally do ship building tutorials and various ways to get the best out of the blocks for the console version of the game. And this is the console version of the game, obviously, with the Automatons update, all the latest patches. As you can see, if we pause the game briefly, you'll see we're on Hotfix. Update 1202124. Sounds a bit star datey to me, a bit like Star Trek. But what I'm here for is to go through some of the cosmetic blocks that you can play around with in Space Engineers when you're designing things. Because I don't think many people take the vanilla blocks into account. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to do that because it's a bit different and I feel like being different, as you'll find out. Uh, down the line because we are going to delve deeply into games like No Man's Sky and we're going to be poking around Starfield when that comes out in just 30 or so days for the early access. Remember, you can get the early access on Starfield if you upgrade your Game Pass version for 30 quid in the UK to the Premium Edition. You'll get it on September the 1st and it will be worth the wait. Okie dokie. Let's have a nose at some of these decoration blocks, shall we? Starting off, people don't tend to pay much attention to the passage blocks. So we can have a look at these. So we have these passage blocks. As you'll see, you might recognize these passage blocks. There's a certain person who's recently joined my Facebook group who was asking about these and it gave me an idea to sort of um, do a video and this is just the vanilla passage block I can't remember when this was added um, but it's the passage block that's been um, rotated so it's actually facing this way you can use it as a kind of corridor and or little cubby hole it should actually be facing like this. There. Or like that, actually. That's the way. And along with the passage block, you've got this passage number two, which is another nice block. And again, don't be frightened of experimenting with stuff like this to make different corridor structures and so on. It can add a lot of detail to a ship because you can also get your passage to side so you can sort of add detail like this make a little bit more of an interesting space. They don't have to be used as is and this is the purpose of this particular video. I wanted to show you some little ways of playing around with interior design on Space Engineers to think outside the box, even though, as I've always said, when you're making a ship, it's boxes within boxes with an interesting shell on the outside. Back to our passage two side. You've got passage three. Passage three with lights. So if you've got power to the grid, you can have lights. And again, you can flip this how you want. If you flip it like this, you can make an interesting way. Another wall. I mean, you can even flip that like this to make an interesting space. Here, very good for bases have a lot of uh, design fun with these and uh, this of course works well on the crossway and you've got frames as well which you can use to add extra detail corners T junctions windowed passages they're very useful again if you want to make something a bit different on the interior of a base, if you wanted some kind of little interior bit, just 
do that. And again, passages and back to where we were. And as I said, this is your passage block. And alongside the passage blocks, if we take a look across again to our decorations, you'll see that we have various other cosmetic options like planters, columns, couches and desks and I'll go through one of my favourite little iterations on the desk at the moment just let me uh, get rid of all this so we've got some room to play around and as always if you have an idea for a build video or something please let me know in the comments it's greatly appreciated. I do enjoy all the interaction, um, the support, and obviously if you feel like liking and subscribing, go ahead. It does help me and the channel out. Um, it gives me the impetus to carry on doing what I'm doing. And uh, so on. Here we go. So, the desk is... really cool you can put these against walls but if you go for the chairless desk you can play around with it like so and then if you pop desk corners on it you can make a little right place table like so I'm trying to remember the color code that Paul Thompson taught me um, off the top of my head so if we open the paint tool by holding the right bumper I'm pressing down on the d-pad we can go to the hex menu And I think it is six, five, four, three, two, one. Come out of that. Paint one, paint two, paint three, paint four, five, and six. And six, five, four, three, two, one gives you a nice surface color here. And for anyone wanting to know how to close down the paint tool, what I did to get to this menu where I was able to choose the skin and the colour, press B and you'll be directly in the paint tool itself. And if you want to get out of the paint tool completely, left bumper and B will put away any tool in the game, including the paint tool. So there you go. But yeah, that's what you can do with these tables. and desks and some desks obviously come with chairs you'll notice of course that these desks are restricted by the distance because they count as full blocks even though they're not so when you're putting them down in a base against walls that have windows you have to make sure where you put them like so and again you have the various iterations of the desk one of my favorite things inside a base if you've any see, if you've seen any of my bases at all uh, which if you've watched the channel long enough you've noticed that I tend to make them are these so starting here you've got your planters they're quite they're kind of cool and with the planters if you put them around this way then you can actually put a desk with a chair like so you can also add in a 
kitchen unit. Let's just uh, get rid of that with the left trigger. I am in creative, as you probably guessed. And you can add these sci fi bar counters for extra detail here just to make a little space and that's always part of the fun of decorating things inside the ship there's a lot of decoration that we've had added over time to space engineers you can see that we've got weapon racks and say the couches and the weapon racks we have toilets and showers um, your storage facilities and weapon racks pretty cool in terms of the detail the armory block is very cool makes a great addition to any ship and uh, if you don't own the DLCs for Space Engineers uh, it's worth getting them for the various different cosmetic options and so on and the new blocks and you can also find a lot of the various other decorations hiding around in the other areas some of them like the sci-fi atmospheric thrusters and the large iron thruster the storage shelves the windows the ATMs neons the half windows which are really really cool and the bridge window slopes and the heat vent you can also find that if you flick through various things like the ladders you can find other things hiding away that uh, you didn't know were there and especially if you're looking for the various interior walls they're always good to play around with sci-fi interior walls the pipe works are a brand new one that are really cool and the angled interior walls again really great for making different kinds of spaces when you're messing around with ships and they can link on other blocks And so on. You've got some great options. To mess around with. And of course. Hiding away. In your lighting options. You have. One of my favourite blocks. That was recently released the inset light block which won't do anything until we slap a battery on the grid there you go but yeah the so these are some of the cosmetic options you can use in space engineers to add a little bit more interest and design to a ship or a base or any kind of large grid build and uh, there are very few small grid options for this kind of thing because um, you need to use a mod to get these kind of things on a small grid if you're building small grid um, large ships although I must admit after several years of playing 
I think building the uh, large grid is better if you are playing on a server. Um, if you're just playing on your own and you're just building for design and so on and so forth, then that's fine. You can build a um, you build a uh, large grid using small blocks. It's time consuming, but it is a lot of fun to try and get it to work. Anyway, there you go. That's my little video for Space Engineers for today. Hopefully you find something interesting here. It sparks something. Let me know in the comments. Uh, show me any pictures of any builds you might have. And uh, I will definitely catch you in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Enjoy the game. Loads more to come from me. Loads more to come from Keen Software. Keep your eye on the game. It's constantly evolving. Bye for now.